Delta Waterfall started our university hunting program in 2017. We ran a, a survey of all the major universities that offer a wildlife degree in the United States, and we figured out the disturbing fact that about 70% of current wildlife management students don't hunt, have no background in hunting, and some of them are actively against hunting. So at Delta, we saw this as a major issue because these are students who are gonna be using uh, Pittman-Robinson funds, license fees, to manage resources for a stakeholder group that they don't understand and so at some points are against. We started this program to get these students the experience of what it actually means to be a hunter and to introduce them to how important hunters are to the North American model of wildlife conservation as a user pay system. This is a great program put on by Delta Waterfowl, their university hunt program. They're working with the national guys in Bismarck that are really organizing things at the high end, but um, they work with their local chapters to act as mentors. So we've got uh, several folks out from the local Delta chapter today acting as mentors, and that's been great. We've got the Bill Cook chapter of the Isaac Walton League has been really generous with the facilities here for our classroom portion and the trap shooting. A big thanks to Savage Firearms this year. They brought a bunch of renegades down, uh, some shotguns for the students to try out and get a feel for. So our goal for this program is to get all students out. All students must complete a hunter safety certification. They must attend a trap shoot. They do an actual mentored hunt, uh, ducks, geese, cranes, something waterfall related. Um, at the end of it, we go through cooking and cleaning the process. The goal being that we want these students to understand how important hunters are to conservation and just how much that we care about it. I want all these students to turn into hunters at the end, but at the very least, I want them to have the experience and the knowledge of what it actually means and how important it is to conservation in the United States. There's a lot of students that are in wildlife management that don't come from um, you know, a hunting background, and I didn't, and I think it it's just it's just a way to kind of get more involved with the the people you're going to be working with a lot um and it's a really rewarding experience to get out um and sit in a blind with someone you know first thing in the morning um and to get to experience you know kind of the landscape and the systems that you're working in from that perspective everything is connected everything you know goes hand in hand together and i think having a better understanding of well, for us right now, it's going to be the geese that we're concentrating on, uh, how they behave and like their habitat and why it is we need to do what we do. I, I think it's all very important. In terms of wildlife conservation and management, hunting really is the way that we fund, fund that management. If you think about groups like Delta Waterfowl and other NGOs, Ducks Unlimited, your local state waterfowl organization, Wisconsin Waterfowl Association here. You know, they're doing a lot of work on the ground, preserving habitat. On the other side of things, you know, we have Pittman Robertson money coming back to the states. We've got duck stamp sales supporting the federal wildlife refuge system. Um, and without hunting, you know, I, I struggle to see how we could continue all of that. My name is Ben Sedinger. I'm an assistant professor and the Kennedy Groney Chair of Waterfowl and Wetland Conservation at the University of Wisconsin Stevens Point. And um, it's a pretty neat position. Technically, my duties are 50% teaching and 50% things that are associated with the endowment. That entails research and, and outreach primarily. So on the teaching side of things, I teach a population dynamics class to undergraduate and graduate students and I also teach a waterfowl class in the spring to undergraduate and graduate students. The other 50% research and outreach, I do things like this, Delta's Waterfowl University Hunting Program. This program, my friend Jeremy uh, actually told me about it. We were in the same wetlands class uh, where our professor came in and spoke about waterfowl and talked about the hunting program. And I was like, wow, okay. Uh, that's an opportunity. I could finally get into hunting. I had actually had a very negative view of hunting um, growing up and probably up until the last year. 
Uh, but I had had such great experiences with ethical hunters that work in my industry um, and work in the wildlife industry that I figured that if I liked them and they liked hunting that maybe it was something that I could be into. So I actually um, did the university hunt program um, at Colorado State University uh, when I was in grad school there. Um, and my advisor, uh, Dave Coons, was the one who kind of established that program at uh, CSU. And um, a lot of his grad students, none of us had ever really hunted before. So um, he kind of took us out for that first go around. It's something I've been, you know, interested in and wanting to get into for a while, but it's sometimes really hard to make that first step and um, kind of like find a mentor to, to teach you how to do everything, to navigate the, you know, buying the licenses and all of that stuff. So just having a, a kind of a guide to do that was really beneficial for me. I have gone turkey hunting before and I've gone duck hunting once in my life um, for like three days and um, so I just kind of wanted to learn how to become a better hunter and learn more about how to hunt waterfowl in general because um, it's something that I would like to continue to do. I thought today went really well even with even with the rain uh, and I'm really looking forward to tomorrow I hope I hope we actually get to actually see some yeast, get some, get some on the ground. It's neat seeing the interest during the classroom session and the questions I ask, but then to see it actually play out when you have birds work your decoys and, you know, they actually get to do some shooting and you har you're able to harvest birds and they just see it full circle from everything that we'd gone over with them in the, in the classroom to actually hold a bird in their hands. This morning uh, we went on a hunt super early in the morning and um, it was really cool. All the geese came flying in and we were all able to take a shot and I didn't shoot anything but um, two people in our class did and um, it was pretty cool. Today was awesome. You know, one of my favorite things to do is to take these new students out. You can't really replicate that feeling of watching the birds come in. And it's so hard to explain to students in a classroom setting. Like, they're going to come, you're going to see them feet down over the decoys. You can't ex describe that until you're actually in there. And then just watching them experience that. Like, I was sitting next to one of our students and the geese did that two circles on us. And I watched his eyes get bigger every time that they spun over us to the point where they were almost in the decoys and he was almost shaking. So it's just so hard to get students that understand that until they experience it. I think it's really critically important for our, the future generation of wildlife professionals to at least understand what hunting entails. You know, a lot of our students, particularly in the last decade or so, don't come from these traditional backgrounds where they grew up on a farm or they grew up hunting. I think a lot of people have, you know, maybe preconceived notions of what hunting is and so just getting them out there um, to experience it themselves is, uh, has been pretty fun. I still have done some waterfowl hunting. Um, I've gone pheasant hunting and I gave turkey hunting a shot as well. So um, I'm actually, it's time for me to start putting in for my reservations for this upcoming season. So I'm looking forward to that. And um, yeah, I'm actually gonna go pick up a lab here in a few months. So um, hopefully have some fun training a dog as well. <laughs>